Who's that? Oh, uh, we're putting me on camera now. What are you doing my yard? Stealing your truck. Out of my yard. Go sell a house. Well, we don't dodge here. We ram. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look out for Blackberry. Hey, boy. Archon. You want to do it right here? Oh, he's ready. He's ready. Let's pop this hood open, kid. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Why are you always buying and selling? I didn't buy it because it was for sale. For free. Was that thing not attached? I got sponsored with it. And What's I don't good, though? I don't want it. Because you got to tighten it. Bro, how much more tighter can I tighten this thing? All right, this is a family channel, man. I can't get monetary gains. My boy was saying, if you're swearing on YouTube, you can't swear. I'm sorry, but my boy was saying, maybe, why is your thing open? I forgot to close your it. Your fuse box is open, I buddy. I forgot to close it. <laughs> um, my boy was saying that he would weld a lid. Yeah. To like close it off, so I can eliminate this crap. Custom also sent this to me. Got a powder coat it just to make it look a little better. But right. Let's swap this intake with a ported 5.7 intake, babe. Let's do this. <laughs> So Bruno showed up. We're going to swap his uh, intake manifold with my ported 5.7 intake manifold. We're going to swap that out. We're going to make a video on it as well. Get the differences between the uh, intake holes and the runner holes and everything. Throttle body holes. And we're going to do a video on that as well. Just cranking down these babies. He's out there taking the intake. Cold air. CAI off. Cold air intake. The 5.7 port is right there. I'm gonna swap it out. Yo, did I say you can use my Homer bucket? You get your own Homer bucket. I didn't bring one today, sorry. Yeah, it's my Homer bucket. <laughs> Bruno came over and sabotaged my my head install. Let me grab this. <clears throat> Gently put it down. The biggest pain in the butt about this thing is that uh, the active uh, runner is in the, the back. back. That's the last plug you'll have to unplug when you take this thing off. All pain in my notes. Pop those red tabs. Pop off the fuel injectors. Are you a plumber? Huh? Never mind. Release the fuel off the fuel rail. And what else? Get the hoses off and we'll take the bolts off and then uh pop this thing off and swap it out let's do this oh see in my garage when you hang your keys and your sunglasses they go there baby that's where they go this just reminded me my push to start comes in the mail this week yeah don't hit your push and stop before we're working on the truck we're getting bruno's hands dirty in the night got all the fuel injectors disconnected the fuel lines disconnected throttle bodies off taking the intake bolts out I'm gonna pop this out and then take it over here and compare it. What we're gonna do is a comparison between the stock 5.7 intake manifold to a ported intake manifold to a 6.4 intake manifold. And I am gonna get this ported, but not right now. So we'll do a, a three comparison so we can see the differences with the caliber. Just a rough idea with you know the hole sizes. All right, every, everything's loosened. We're gonna take this intake manifold off stock 5.7 intake manifold and we have to deal with the glorious glorious gorgeous runner plug in the back pop it up pop it up your pinky bends like that do that again what your pinky's broken man what are you talking about push on it no this way what the <laughs> what is that why does it do that that's nasty dude my pinky don't do that his pinky's broken. This one's still in? No. Nope, do your pinky, do both pinkies do that? What? Like this? That's nasty. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Oh my look god. At this. You're double jointed. Yeah. That's weird. That's nasty. How far can you bend your thumb back? I can't bend. Oh, like this. No, your pinky's double jointed. That's weird. You're a weirdo. All right, let's go. <laughs> Today's intake manifold swap is brought to you by Elite Heavy Performance. Here you go, bro. Free pen. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Jason Duria. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you, Jason. 
Elite Hemi Performance. Check it out in high performance Rams. All right, now we get the plug in the back for the uh, active. active Look product. at all that sh stuff underneath it. And oh, it looks, it looks like there's a mouse nest in there. Yeah, no mouse in here. All right, we can reach back and get that plug for the uh, active runners. Good, good, you're unplugged. Ugh. Oh, I hate that damn thing. That's the worst plug in this vehicle. Is that stupid active runner plug? All right, so we got mice. What we got? The kids? Oh, rats. We actually don't got. Pull that, that insulation out. And we'll uh, clean this up a little bit. What are the knock sensors? Oof. I'm gonna have, to get the, <laughs> have to get the vacuum. All right, that's nasty. This thing has been sitting in an alley a couple of years. What, what, what happened? I don't know, but that needs to be vacuumed. Yeah, we gotta clean this up good. Let's get to cleaning. All right, while awesome. Bruno is cleaning his surface over there on his heads, I'm gonna come over here, grab the caliper. This is a stock 5.7, this is a ported 5.7, and this is a stock 6.4 intake. We're gonna check the uh, throttle body openings, flip them over, and just check the, uh, the runner openings as well, the intake runners. Stock 5.7 throttle body opening is approximately this is not precision. This is just a rough idea to get, just to let everybody know, you know, what we got here. 82.4. And this is ported by G's Porting Performance. You can find him on Facebook as well. So 82 and a half, 84 and a half, and 6.4. 83. So right around 82 millimeters, 82 and a half millimeters on your stock 5.7 intake manifold. Around 84 and a half on the ported intake manifold. And then around 83 on the 6.4 truck intake manifold, 83 and a half. All right, let's flip them over and check the uh, intake runners. All right, let me get a brew on the camera. Can I hold that? I'm gonna say. All right, stock 5.7. We're just gonna do, these are kind of tapered. They start from big and go down. So I'm just gonna get the average uh, up and down, left and right. So stock 46 millimeters that way and up is about 42. So 46 by 42 ported. Forty-nine. Wow. Forty-six. That was 46-42. That's 49-46, which is a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Now, it's just the mouth of the opening that gets ported. They don't port the hole inside, but it helps. You know? And it has the uh, 6.4. Which is... 45, it's kind of like in the middle, huh? 44, almost 45. So 45, 45 on this. Yeah, 45, 45 on this. So this is kind of like in, in between. And this isn't ported yet. But the internals in this are bigger, it's obviously. Way bigger, the chambers. Yeah, so once, it, once this is ported, it'll be even more. But there's your differences, guys. There's your differences on the millimeter size between the 5.7 stock, 5.7 ported, and the 6.4 stock. But once I port this, I'm going to do another video on that as well. And just come back to this video for reference. And this one, this ported 5.7 is going back on Bruno's truck right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. All right. Click, click. That's it. That's it. I'm going to teach this kid how to use a torque wrench. <laughs> Once it clicks, stop. Uh, new intake, 5.7 ported is on. She's in. We're going to turn her on in a little bit, connect all the fuel injectors, vacuum hoses, etc. Cold air intake back on. And we're going to start her up. The Blackberry has a ported 5.7. All right, throttle body's on. Hook up the cold air intake and we're going to get started. It'll be good to go. 
Let her rip tater chip. Got a manifold leak. Huh? Manifold leak. No, exhaust manifold leak. Exhaust manifold leak. Yeah, that's good. So you gotta do the both things. Other than that, she's all together. I can actually feel some sucking over there. Seven intake manifold swap with a 5.7 ported intake manifold. Job well done. Thank you, sir. What was that? Took about eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, guys. All right, guys. There's a difference between the 5.7, 5.7 ported and 6.4 stock intake manifolds. I am gonna have this ported, the 6.4. I'm gonna port match my heads. Maybe that will be a separate video. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay tuned. Peace.